Welcome, Husker Nation, to my gut reaction for Dylan Riola committing to the University of Georgia. Let's have a moment of silence for the Nebraska football program and what could have been. The sky is falling, the world is ending. Now, first of all, Dylan's an absurdly talented individual. All right, quarterback, if you don't know, Dylan Riola, 6'3", 220, uh, 220 pounds, number one prospect for the 2024 recruiting class, just committed to the University of Georgia. This obviously stings because he has strong family ties to the University of Nebraska. He had formed a what felt like a strong connection, a strong relationship. He even mentioned Matt Rule several times with head coach of the University of Nebraska, Mr. Matt Rule. Here's my gut reaction. Okay, and I've said this on social media before, so you probably shouldn't be shocked. All right, and that post was kind of out of nowhere, but it was on my mind, what was it, six, eight weeks ago, whenever it was. Here's how I feel. All right, we're going to feel like Chicken Little and the sky is falling for one day. Talented player, bright future, also unproven. Okay, so you never know what's going to happen. We live in a day and age where players commit and decommit all the time. He's already changed his mind, decommitted from Ohio State. Not slamming the kid, this is what happened. We live in a day of the transfer portal. So where you start playing college ball may not be where you end up playing college ball. So you never know what the future might hold. Very talented. Okay, obviously this thing's a smidge for some of the reasons I've already mentioned. But he's one player, okay? And the, a football program does not revolve around one player, okay? It's going to sting for today. The sky is falling for today. And then... The world's going to keep on spinning, and the sun's going to come up tomorrow, and we're going to realize that it's all okay. All right. Now, smash that like button if you agree with me. All right. That being said, he is very, very talented, is unproven. The Nebraska fit would have been awesome for several reasons. But I wish him nothing but the best. I'm going to be rooting for him. It's hard to say when he goes to Georgia. I'm going to root for him. <laughs> I don't know about Georgia. I like Kirby Smart, though. Okay. But Nebraska's going to be okay. The program's going to be okay. We're going to keep marching on. Going to keep moving forward. That's what we do. It's how we roll. It's how Matt Rule's going to build this program, or at least I believe he's going to build this program. We'll see what happens as I sip just a smidge of the Kool-Aid, but not too much. All right, now the Huskers do need a young quarterback. Okay, the youngest scholarship quarterback we have on this team is sophomore quarterback Heinrich Harburg. All right. And we've, we, we had six scholarship quarterbacks before the end of spring. Now we're down to three. So we, we can definitely add one. We definitely need to add a young one going forward. So here's some of the quarterbacks that they can currently pursue going into next year. All right, they are pursuing quarterback Kamari McClellan out of Alabama. He's a three-star guy. He'll be visiting Nebraska in June. Offensive coordinator Marcus Satterfield also has a good report with current South Carolina commit Dante Reno. We'll see where that goes. And an under-the-radar guy. I love these type of guys. He's very under-the-radar. I love under-the-radar. I root for these guys. I love these guys. Okay, I'm married to the sister of a walk-on that I befriended. All right, hi, Jeff. If you don't like seeing me at holidays, it's your fault because you gave me your sister's number. But I digress. Keep an eye on Elkhorn South, Carson Rauner. Okay, again, an under-the-radar guy, in-state guy. We'll see how that goes. We'll see what Nebraska can do going forward as far as bringing in a young quarterback that they can develop over time. Because regardless of whether it was Dylan or somebody else, they needed to do that. Now, I got a couple of questions for you fine folks at home. Number one, do you believe this is a big deal? Am I wrong? Am I cuckoo crazy? The answer to that is yes. But am I wrong in the fact that this is a much bigger deal? Adam, he would have brought all these recruits with him and running backs and wide receivers would have followed him. I've heard that notion. I've heard that argument. I've never really bought into that and I'll tell you why. Players coming out of high school tend to do what's best for them on an individual level. So to me, that was never as big a factor as some people I thought made it out to be. All right, next question. Do you believe this is a big deal for today? And then we move on. Because a, a football program does not revolve around just one player. Okay, Tommy Frazier, as great as he was, had the pipeline in front of him. All right, Jason Peter had Grant Wistrom, had all these other great players around them. All right, they also had Tom Osborne. I got another question for you, because this has just been on my mind recently. I've just kind of been like, man, Jeff Sims, probably going to be our starting quarterback in the fall. Incredibly talented kid. Great size, great speed, great arm. Okay. Can he be improved as a passer? Was he developed at Georgia Tech as a quarterback, as a passer? Will he be developed more here at the University of Nebraska? So my question is, do you want to see me do a, hear me do a video? I'd probably post it on Sunday night, maybe Monday at the latest if I do this. A video on Jeff Sims 
development as a passer, as a quarterback, is going to be a true indicator of how good of a developer of players Matt Rule really is. And he's shown he's a developer of players, but I'm talking the quarterback position specifically. And also, how big of a deal will that directly be when it's tied to Matt Rule's success here at the University of Nebraska, Jeff Sims' ability to develop as a quarterback, as a passer, as a quarterback? Let me know in the comments below if you want me to do that video a week from now. All right, just a reminder, the Character Chronicles all right, officially returns August 1st right here on this very YouTube channel. Don't miss it. Have a great summer. And if I get enough responses, I'll do that video about Jeff Sims and his development as a passer. Go Big Red Noise. Remember, do the buzz.